So, honey, what are you doing? I'm reading a comic. What comic are you reading? It's called Witches, but I don't know why Witches is spelled with a Y. Is that like when we used to spell women with a Y? Remember that? Like in like the mid-90s? Who did that? Did you do that? No, because I'm not a feminist, but... um. <laughs> We're totally gonna I get a hate you, mail I over think, this one. <laughs> I think you are a feminist. You want you want women to. I to think progress, I'm a different right. Well, yeah, of course. And what I meant by that statement is, unlike my sister, who's like, "Hey, I married somebody, and if he wants clean clothes, he knows where the laundry room is." Versus, hey, honey, where's your dirty clothes? Let me take care of that for well, you. Well, that doesn't... Laundry has nothing to do with being a feminist. You're just very traditional. You like to do right. traditional stuff. I don't mind serving but my But you're lady. definitely a feminist well, because yeah, I didn't mean, you... I knew that would be taken completely out of Seriously, because you're talking to a feminist criminologist right here. Well, I'm a feminist, but I'm not, actually. So... <laughs> So, okay, for the audience, you're going to need to explain yourself for those of, who don't know you. Uh, I'm a, when it comes to criminology, I'm a feminist criminologist, but I'm not. Because I think that men and women are different in the criminal justice system. Women have unique needs. Um, and all of them are individual needs, whereas... Other feminist criminologists tend to attribute female offending to, like, social factors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for yeah, that, Yeah, I know. Gehring. See? Like, um, my question is, why is it when we get on the pillow talk, you turn into Dr. Gehring, and so people don't know how fun oh, you really okay. are? okay. So here you are. You ask me, like, <laughs> something that has to do with my work that I teach and that I write about. I was about. talking you about comic be, books. Like, nerdy? Comic books have nothing to do with your work. And then why did you equate this witches with a Y to, Because like... remember, like, back in, like, 93, like, Melissa Etheridge, you know, she was coming out, whatever. Oh, wow. Everybody was, like, saying, like, women, and it was, like, W-O-M-Y-N. Like, men uh, was not included. Do you remember this? I do remember that. And you I were, like, like what is this that's dumb? Uh, I was You're probably like 20. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and I was just coming out. Like, I right, just cause... kissed my first girl when I was like 19. Mm -hmm. And I came out and I was like, oh, I'm bisexual. But then I realized that there was nothing bisexual about the fact that everyone I looked at was like women. I wasn't really interested in guys mm -hmm. after that. When we know my only boyfriend is um gay so yeah eighth your grade. only boyfriend that you yeah had? eighth grade philip sternagel duh like you know <sighs> i think that any man or boy that goes by their full name like michael or philip or charles i mean come on yeah i i mean i'm I don't, I'm not, Andrew. This is not about. Sorry, Philip. This has nothing to do with that. And apologies to your husband <laughs> as well. You know, this I'm, has nothing to do with you that. Know okay, I'm just kidding. Like, is this the fun side that we've been looking for? No, it's not. The first. I'm two not fun at all. Pillow. Shut up. I'm, I'm a total. I've. 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 I've been lying to everyone. Not You're a fraud. I am. Is this when you say I'm this a is fraud. when I have? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that moment in Tootsie where he like pulls his hair off and he's like, I'm really whatever the guy's name was. <laughs> such okay. and such is brother. I'm a fraud. We're going to end the pillow this talk imposter on syndrome. Dustin Hoffman's Tootsie. Mm -hmm. Have a great weekend, y'all. Check out our new medical bathroom, too.